Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about how to solve handlebar vibration and also a power issue in all scooters. Today I have a Jupiter 125 with me and I'll be showing how to fix this issue using this bike. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Start by undoing all the bolts holding the CVT cover, making sure that you remove all the bolts in the crisscross pattern. This will ensure that you don't damage the CVT cover and the pressure from the all the bolts are evenly spread across the CVT case. Once you remove all the bolts, remove the CVT cover. I am using a small extension along with the 10 number socket to function as a stopper to stop the CVT gear. Start placing the socket and the extension as shown and using a 30 number socket or a ring spanner, start removing the CVT gear bolt in the clockwise direction. Now remove the bolt completely and collect the spacer and the washer. Now you can remove the variator gear out of your bike. Now let's remove the belt from the CVT. Now in order to remove the clutch unit, I am using this special tool to hold the clutch which will prevent it from rotating. Using a 16 number socket or a ring spanner, remove the clutch nut. Now you can remove the clutch hub out of your scooter and remove the entire clutch assembly out of your bike along with the belt. You can see the condition of the old belt here. As you can see, it is completely cracked and it is time to replace. Using the belt in this condition, we will have issues like vibrations or noise from the CVT unit. And also there are chances of breaking the belt which will completely stop your scooter. The previous mechanic who tried to open this clutch has slipped the nut and this has to be replaced. And this is the inner lining of the clutch hub. As you can see there's lot of scratches and if you find any deeper one, you need to replace the entire unit. Now let's remove the inner variator hub along with the spacer. Remove the spacer out and take out the sliding plate. These are the old rollers which has to be replaced. You can see major wear and tear in these rollers and this is the primary reason for handlebar vibration and also for jerky throttle response while you accelerate. Now from the clutch pulley, start removing the nut using an adjustable wrench. Hold the clutch unit properly as the entire unit is spring loaded which might lead to injuries. Once you remove the nut, you can remove the entire clutch assembly. This is the new clutch assembly that I am going to replace and you can see the comparison of old one along with the new one in this video. Now before doing anything further, let's clean up the entire unit. After cleaning everything, let's install the spring. Now insert the new clutch aligning its mounting hole. Now as shown in the video, compress everything together and tighten the nut as shown. Now these are the set of new rollers that I purchased from TVS. Slightly lubricate the rollers with grease and insert it as shown. 
make sure that you don't overdo the greasing as it might attract lot of dirt which might end up damaging the rollers again. Now insert the backing plate making sure that you have all the three brushes intact. Now clean the shaft and lubricate it with some grease. Now install the variator along with the spacer. Next install the clutch assembly along with the new belt. Now install the variator gear as shown. Install the washer followed by the spacer and finally tighten the nut in the anti-clockwise direction. Now install the clutch hub and tighten it with the new nut if required. As mentioned before, using a 10 number socket and an extension, hold the variator gear as shown and tighten its nut in the anti-clockwise direction. Now hold the clutch with the special tool and tighten its nut using a socket or a ring spanner. Now let's check whether everything is working perfectly. After ensuring everything is working fine, install back the CVT cover and put back all the bolts that you removed in the same order and tighten it in a crisscross pattern. With this maintenance, all the handlebar vibration that you felt before will be gone completely and also you'll be having much more power as you replace the clutch. Your scooter will accelerate and run smoother than before and also you'll be having a better fuel economy compared to the previous maintenance condition. I hope this video was informative enough and if you people like this video, do consider subscribing to the channel.